Alexis, you got a break from a judge. Yeah. That was rare. It is rare, and that's unfortunate because I do believe that addicts deserve to be in treatment and not in jail. And, and so often it depends on economics and well, race. The Ooh. color of your skin. I, I don't deny that. I talk about that in my book. Yeah, you do. It's really unfortunate that the vast majority of mass incar incarcerated people are people of color, despite the fact that we know that white people do as much, if not more, crime. And you got the break. You are sober. You're a mom now. And you're using your voice to tell your story, but also to help others. Dr. Roy, you know, Timbaland, who's now one of my best friends, I love this guy, he got on and told his story, quitting cold turkey. Dan mm. Paris also said that that happened for him, but that's rare to be able to go in a room and lock yourself. Timbaland said being mm. on opioids was hell on earth. Yes, yes. Uh, Timbaland and many of my own patients say the exact same story. It's extremely <laughs> uncomfortable and difficult to detox or get, get, get better on your own. It's uncomfortable and frankly, relapse rates are over 90% for people who just go it alone and just detox alone. So 90% of the people who try to go it alone relapse. Uh, no, oh. detox alone is associated with relapse rates of over 90%. Oh. So the people People who have the best outcomes for long-term recovery receive medications and counseling and are surrounded by supportive right. people. And Brad, full disclosure, we've known each other a long time. Someone near and dear to my heart. Um, we did an intervention. I called you. We got in a car. You did great. Uh, you were a great you know, interventionist, Amber. We got in an Uber and we uh, took him to your center. Yeah. Um, rehab, it's a, people feel like they can't afford it, mm. that you know, they, it's not available. What is the rehab situation? Well, I love that most people face. Alexis was talking about the connection between trauma mm -hmm. and addiction later. And so most people that have addiction will never get help. That's the sad truth about mm -hmm. it. So I love that the, the judge one day said, hey, you have to go to treatment instead of uh, going to jail. But most families, you know, there's shame around it. So the idea and the of economics you, of it. But I would insurance say covers, but insurance it's complicated. Covers, yeah, but there's coverage today like okay. there's never been before. There are over 14,000 treatment centers in the country. And so I wow. think it's just that we're scared to talk about addiction and so recovery. The fear there's so is much bigger, shame around it. The yeah. fear is bigger no. than the access yes. to oh. affordable rehab. No doubt. And you know, wow. I mean, imagine 17 years ago, I was a meth addict and alcoholic, and I was a newsman, and I was nuts, mm. right? So you never saw that part of me. Yeah. But I was driving around loaded all the time, praying that I would get arrested. But detoxing at home can be so dangerous for folks because of medical issues.